गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस शीट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इज फाइंड आउट द पैरामीटर ऑफ गिवन फिगर हेयर वी आर गिवन अ फिगर एंड द लेंथ ऑफ ऑल साइड ऑफ फिगर इज ऑल्सो गिवन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड इट्स पैरीमीटर एंड टू फाइंड द पैरीमीटर ऑफ फिगर लेंथ ऑफ ऑल साइड इज बींग एडेड सो स्टार्ट एडिंग द लेंथ ऑफ दिस गिवन फिगर टू फाइंड इट्स पैरीमीटर सेवन मीटर एंड फोर मीटर सेवन एंड फोर इलेवन मीटर इलेवन एंड थ्री फोर्टीन मीटर फोर्टीन एंड फाइव नाइनटीन मीटर द पैरीमीटर ऑफ दिस गिवन फिगर इज नाइनटीन मीटर आर ऑप्शन ए इज ट्वेल्व मीटर विच इज नॉट करेक्ट आर ऑप्शन बी इज नाइनटीन मीटर इट इज करेक्ट सो वी विल पुट अर टिक एट ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन सी इज फोर्टीन मीटर इट इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज ट्वेंटी मीटर इट इज नॉट करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फिगर हैज द एरिया ऑफ एट स्क्वेयर यूनिट्स हेयर वी हैव गिवन सम फिगर्स इन विच स्क्र बॉक्सिस आर देयर लेट द वन साइड ऑफ वन स्क्र बॉक्स बी वन यूनिट then the area of the square box will be one square unit now let's count the number of square boxes in each figure and then we will see which figure has the area of eight square units in option a start counting 1 2 3 4 5 the area is five square units in option b 1 2 3 Four. These four are full square boxes. Now let's count the number of half square boxes. One, two, three, four. Four half squares means two full squares. Four and two six. Its area is six square units. Now let's see in figure C. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six are full square boxes. and one and one two half square boxes half means one full for six and one seven square units now let's see in option d 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 its area is eight square units which is correct according to the given question so we will put a tick at option d Our seventeenth question is: Read the bar graph and find that how many children are living at a distance of three kilometer. Dear students, look at the bar graph carefully. On one side of it, distance from the school is given, and on other side, number of children are given. And let's see how many children are living at a distance of three kilometer. Yes. The number of children living at a distance of three kilometer is fifty. Or option A is thirty-five, which is not correct. Option B is twenty, it is not correct. Option C is thirty, it is not correct. Option D is fifty, it is correct. So we will put a tick at it. Question number eighteen is: Children saw trucks in parking and draw a pictograph which represents number of trucks in the parking. A picture of truck represents the number of truck B five. If picture of ten trucks were drawn in pictograph, then how many trucks were seen in the parking? Dear students, if picture of one truck refers to the number of five trucks, and if the picture of ten trucks were drawn, it means there were ten fives are fifty trucks, which is same as option B. So we will put a tick at option B. Our question number nineteen is choose the picture which represents symmetric line. Dear students, symmetric line is a line which divides the picture in two equal parts. Let's see in which picture symmetric line has been drawn. In the picture A, we can see the area of left side is more than the area of right side. So this line is not a symmetric line. In the option B. the area in both sides is equal means this line is symmetric line so we will put a tick at option b now 
let's see in option c picture here you can see the area of down part is more than the area of upper part so this is not a symmetric line in the option d we can see that the area in right side is more than the area in left side so this line is also not a symmetric line our question number 20 is observe the pattern and complete it here we can see that when 9 is multiplied by 1 times 6 then answer is 5 4 when 9 is multiplied by 2 times 6 then in the answer 1 9 is there in between 5 and 4 and when 9 is multiplied by 3 times 6 then in between 5 and 4 2 9s are there and when 9 is multiplied by 4 times 6 then in the answer in between 5 and 4 3 times 9 is there in the same way when 9 will be multiplied by 5 times 6 then in the answer there will be 4 times 9 in between 5 and 4 which is same as option C so we will put a tick at option C now it is time for homework and from home you will solve question number 15 to 20 in your notebooks